At some point in the evening of December 13, 2020, a Sunday, 21-year-old college student Jason Landry left his residence at Texas State University, got into his silver-colored Nissan Altima, and began his roughly two-and-a-half-hour journey home to Missouri City, just outside of Houston, for the Christmas break. Jason never made it home. At 12.30 a.m. on the same night Jason left for home, his car was found abandoned by a volunteer firefighter on a dirt road called Salt Flat Road. The location where the car was found was roughly a 30 minute drive from Jason's residence at the college. Jason's car had been totaled and left in a ditch by the road. His cell phone and wallet were left in his car and some of his clothes were found at the scene, but there was no sign of Jason. Salt Flat Road was a remote dirt road that was off course for Jason's trip home to the Houston area. Jason's father, Kent Landry, believes Jason may have been following the directions of a faulty GPS app that caused him to make a wrong turn. A large-scale search for Jason was initiated that included tracking dogs that reportedly detected a scent, indicating that Jason was headed towards the nearby town of Luling on foot when he disappeared. The scent appeared to stop near an abandoned house by a small pond. The house was thoroughly searched and the pond was later drained and there was still no sign of Jason. The search for Jason was suspended just nine days after it had started, after searchers had thoroughly looked through over 10,000 acres and still found no trace of him. What happened to Jason Landry? So that is just a brief synopsis of the story of how Jason Landry went missing. And he is still reported as missing as of the making of this video, which is December 28th, 2020. I don't know what happened to Jason. I'd really like to know, you know, this one's in my backyard uh, where he's from is probably um, 15 or so miles away from me. So would really like to see this mysterious case solved. It's really strange. As you can see, uh, a photograph of I had earlier of the car, it's hit in the front and in the back, which is strange because if you look at the one picture I have of that tree, that is the tree they say that Jason's car struck when he got into a wreck. So it still doesn't explain how it got damaged in the back, which are just a few questions I saw around on the internet. And they also found a small trace of blood inside the car, but they don't think it was enough to have... Uh, obviously hurt Jason that bad because uh, by all accounts it looked like he made it away from his car. They did, as I said in the video, find his cell phone. I think that they said it was lodged under his seat, but I don't know uh, how good that information is. His cell phone was locked and they still at this point don't know if it pinged off of any towers or not in that area of uh, Salt Flat Road where his car was found. So there's a lot of mystery surrounding this one. Why were some of his clothes found just outside of his car, which I saw that was reported? That's very strange. Has some uh, echoes of the David Politis missing 411 stuff where some of the people are missing their clothes, but there is absolutely been no sight of Jason since this happened over two weeks ago. And I'm sure his family is very frantic. So if anyone has any ideas, Please put them in the comment section and I'll of course keep everyone up to date on this case. Thanks for watching.